Hello everyone, today we're gonna focus on isometric training. Isometric training is when we have our body pushing against our own body or another force that is not moving. And this is one of the fastest techniques known to develop strength, so that's why we're gonna incorporate it in our workout routine. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our warm up and then we're gonna go into our exercises. The focuses of today are to continue breathing. Remember to really focus on that breath. Keep your isobo with tension and keep your shoulders back. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with arm circles here. Just getting a quick warm up here. Switch sides. Coming down to the body, away from the body. And we're focusing on that breathing. To the side. And up a bus, lean to one side, lean to the other. Do some twists here. And we're ready to begin. Here we're gonna take our iso bow, we're gonna come down to our, our butt, we're gonna sit down on the ground, and we're gonna get some legs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our iso bow. I like to switch them to a vertical position, push them all the way in towards the seam there. And we're gonna put it over our right foot and our left. And we're gonna create our own resistance doing our leg curl. Okay, so we're gonna start with an extended leg. And here I'm pushing with my left leg and kind of trying to pull up with my right, creating a seven second isometric hold. Ready, go. Excellent, shake it out a little bit. Now we're gonna come in just a little bit, creating that 90 degree angle. Again, the same movement. My right leg's gonna try to kick up. My left leg is resisting. Seven seconds, ready, go. And take a break. Switching sides now. We're gonna go with our left leg, almost fully extended, creating that resistance Pulling up with our left, down with our right. Seven second hold, ready, go. This is gonna exercise your quad and your hamstring. Coming to 90, seven second hold. Pulling the isobo apart, ready, go. Excellent, take a break. We're gonna focus on our calves here. Putting the ice bow over our right foot, holding it with both hands. We're gonna do that isometric hold again. So here we're gonna keep our foot vertical, but we're pushing against the ice bow, but with no movement. So here we go, seven second hold, ready, go. Excellent, keep that breathing and that tension there for seven seconds. Now you notice how I kind of straightened up. Make sure our posture's there as well. Now we're gonna point our toe, and keep that tension ready for seven seconds. Go. Excellent. Switching sides. Over the left leg here, left foot. Foot vertical, creating that isometric, fastest strength known. Here we go, Ten or seven seconds. Pushing now. Excellent, again, we're feeling that in our calf. Now we're gonna point our toe, pushing again, holding that, creating that resistance. Isometric hold, seven seconds, ready, go. Okay, today we're gonna exercise our hip flexors, core, and thighs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the iso bow over both feet, like so. We're gonna have one foot out in front of the other, pushing while the other foot pulls up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that tension there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch sides. Now we're gonna opposite direction ready one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, keep that tension, eight, nine, ten, take a break, Whew. relax a little bit. One, one more set, two of the three, here we go. One, two, three, four, really feel it engaging. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch sides, whew, I'm burning, I hope you are too. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Take a little break. You deserve it. One more set and we're going to finish strong. Ready? Third set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides, last one. Finish strong. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Really feel that in your hips and lower core. Quick workout with your isobo. Down to our mat. Ready to start engaging our calf, hamstring, releasing that tension in the lower back. Handle goes over the foot, pulling our head towards our knee. 10 second hold here. Really deepening that stretch for our hamstring, calf, and lower back. Switching sides. Left leg tucked in, right leg over. Pulling in, really trying to find that sweet spot. That engaging stretch for another 10 seconds. Releasing the tension in our lower back. All right, excellent. Now laying down on our mat, flat on our back, we're going to go over our left leg, pulling our left leg, knee slightly bent towards our head for another 10 seconds. Really engaging that hamstring. Now we're going to take it, we're going to pull our leg side of our body, really focusing on pushing our leg up towards our head for that inner thigh groin stretch for another 10 seconds. Really feeling it on that inside of the thigh there. Coming up now, right hand, left leg, pulling it across our body, shoulders square for another 10 seconds. Again, pulling up our left leg towards our head, really trying to engage those hips, glutes, and lower back. Excellent. Switching sides, isobo over the right, pulling our toes towards our head for another 10 seconds, knee slightly bent. Releasing the tension in that lower back. And to the side now for another 10 seconds. Really engaging that inner thigh groin, pulling the leg towards our head for 10 seconds. Three more. And left arm, right leg, pulling across our body, shoulders flat on the mat for another 10 seconds. Really engaging that hip, glute, and lower back. Pulling our leg up towards our head and that'll do it. There you have it, a quick, simple warm-up stretch to increase your productivity with the ISOBO.